Aquarius. Aquarius, welcome back. <clears throat> Sorry, I've been away for almost two weeks. Just been ill. Up at work, ill. Back home, ill. Just nasty. Um, anyway, we're starting to feel better. Hopefully, you guys are doing well, that you're not experiencing a lot of the colds and flus that are going around. Uh, just because it's nasty. Anyway, let's get into your current energy, Aquarius. And as I'm shuffling while I'm talking, we have the Hermit showing up. The Hermit is followed by the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Hierophant. This feels like a very difficult choice that you're facing. You're hoping possibly for some guidance with the Hierophant here. For others of you, whatever you're going through, the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, it can be that you're really focused on making money um, and you're trying to cut out sort of the bullshit, I, I want to say. The... Um, <clears throat> And with the Hierophant here, it's like, how do I do that? You may need to go back to school. There may be some further learning. You know, there's so much stuff on YouTube that can help. For others of you, I feel this is a choice between two individuals. Um, and that's not always an easy thing either. <clears throat> oh, okay. This is getting interesting. When we start to look towards a possible desire. We have the Judgment and the World card. I almost get that you want to tie up some loose ends. For others of you, you know what, let's tie up the loose ends, let's move on, let's get rid of the stuff from before <clears throat> so we can move on into something different. Okay, kind of done with this chapter is what it feels like. Queen of Cups, High Priestess, and Temperance. This has been overwhelming um, the you may have had like a lot of downloads or intuitions that have been coming around for myself I know it's been a lot of deja vus it's been kind of weird it's almost like um, I say it's like Groundhog Day where like every day seems to be the same but it's kind of slightly different <clears throat> and with Temperance card here we can see that you know as, as you're going through this there is a change that's taking place that change may not be super evident to see it may be something that's uh i hear under the skin so you can't see you know you can't quite see through what is going on <clears throat> however when we look to the possible outcome we see the Strength card show up. And this is, has the Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, Three of Wands, and the Six of Swords. Whatever you're facing, especially when it comes to the future, how we were talking about that earlier, where the possible guidance, that type of thing, we see the Seven of Pentacles. There's this worry there is this concern about the future and how that's shaping up. Uh, there's going to be reciprocity or gifts coming in. Those gifts can have you looking at a new... Um, at a new way of going, uh, a new way of being. It's something that you may be waiting for, like you can see this starting to happen. So with the Temperance card, I'm kind of like drawn back to that, where you can see it starting to happen. And the Six of Swords, you know it's coming around and you're able to see it. <clears throat> and things start to go easier because when you start to see sort of things come out into fruition, they make a little bit easier to deal with. Now, what's working for you is things are fairly stable. You may feel really erratic. Um, like you're charging in and like, ooh, and then backing off. And it's like, it may be sort of hot and cold. But with the, and this can be within a connection. 
<clears throat> they can be very, very beautiful with the Queen of Wands here. But we have the Empress, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. Whatever this is, I want to say, this is damn good. Uh, it's like, I want to grab onto it and hold on to it. <laughs> there is a connection here that is just, for lack of a better word, divine. It's, it's supportive. It's energetically connected. It's physically connected, energetically connected. It's got longevity tied up in it. It feels really, really good. Now, what you may not see is justice. Justice in the Ace of Pentacles. Followed by the Three of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. So whatever's going on that you need to be aware of, <clears throat> things are now balancing out. They doesn't mean that they're balancing out in your favor, but with the Ace of Pentacles here, they're really, it's underway. It can put you into a point of heartbreak if this is some type of divorce or some type of falling apart of something where you're not sure what to do because you didn't expect how this person or how this was actually going to shake out. Okay, so we feel like the bad is overweighing the good. But when I look back to what's working for you, there's a connection here that is just freaking amazing. The Three of Pentacles <clears throat> shows up. The Death card. Ten of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Things are starting to change. Things are starting to change in a major way. With the Three of Pentacles, you're able to actually put those starting steps into action. Remember how we were talking about possibly school and the worry about work and the worry of um, the future. So now you're actually to put tires to the road. <clears throat> Things are changing. Um, and with the Ten of Wands, it's been a while here. It's been a while that they haven't changed. It's been heavy. This is starting to shift. Remember how we were saying, you know, there's this whole lightning coming up and then the knight of swords being able to actually put that down and make your choice and go forward so aquarius that's what i have for you today hopefully this resonates for you we'll see you next time stay safe